Hey guys, welcome back to another Steam Deck video. I'm Blaze UK, and we've got a little bit of good news for the Steam Deck, and specifically FSR, because NVIDIA, or not NVIDIA, AMD, just recently had a conference announcing FSR 3.0, and the interesting tidbit is the fact that you don't need new hardware to run FSR 3.0. Not only that, but it includes two times more FPS over FSR 2. Now, let's get into it. Like, subscribe, click the bell icon if you love Steam Deck and you want to support the Steam Deck community and this video and myself. Um, but let's get into it. Let's go. So I was browsing Reddit, as I typically do, and I saw this interesting post um, from Captain Quizzical. Um, he says, AMD has had a killer, just had a killer conference with new GPUs and announced FSR 3.0 to boot. Eurogamer suggested it would need new hardware. Would this mean that we can expect some crazy FPS boosts for our decks? Now, if you don't know what FSR is, basically it's an upsampling, upscaling technology that allows you to basically run games at, say, 1080p or as much as 4K, but basically render them at 1080p and then use FSR, this magical witchcraft of technology, to upscale them and still have them look as good as they would at a 4K native, but have them run at the performance of say 720p or 800p, like on the Steam Deck, right? Um, it's it's crazy how they do it. Um, Nvidia's equivalent to this is DLSS. Um, and let me reiterate that, okay? So let's say you're running on a low powered machine like the Steam Deck, all right? It's not got the power in the chops that your gaming PC, your 3000 gig, $3,000 gaming PC has, so you can't run games at, say, 1440p or 4K at the, res at the frame rates you would like, obviously. But with FSR, you can render, or you can basically run them at 4K, but have them rendered in, let's say, the native resolution of the Steam Deck, 800p, but still have it look like they're 4K. That might be a little bit of a jump from 800p to 4K, but that's just an example. Let's say maybe 1080p is probably more realistic. So um, what this means is that if developers choose to, they have to choose to include this in their games, okay? Um, so we are relying on the developers to include this, but it's completely possible in the Steam Deck. So basically what we could come to expect from this is the fact that we might see massive or moder moderately big FPS boosts for the Steam Deck and might inevitably increase the life span of your Steam Deck because you're going to be able to play modern AAA titles like maybe see Modern Warfare 2, um, like God of War, um, like Red Dead Redemption, if they include FSR um, and have it run potentially 30, um, 60 FPS at like 1080p at 1440p. You never know. FSR according to them fsr3 is going to have two times more fps than fsr2 and fsr2 isn't even implemented in a lot of games on the steam deck a lot of games on steam deck use fsr 1.0 right now so just imagine we're talking about maybe three times or more the performance of fsr1 that we have on the steam deck right now but we need developers to obviously implement it. So let's take a look at the, some of the comments here. So FSR1 is what the Steam Deck currently uses for all games to upscale from 720p to 1080p or higher without code modifications. FSR2 requires devs to make it to enable it in their games. So only select games have that capability. It's likely they will continue that trend with 3.0. Um, and someone says, I was interested in which version of S FSR Steam Deck was using, but I couldn't find that info. Do you have the link which says FSR? So basically, um, FSR 1 was, I think, was able to be activated on a system level. Like on Steam Deck, I believe you can turn FSR on in the quick access menu settings or the performance toggle, performance settings on the quick access menu on your Steam Deck without having to do anything in the game settings, right? But I think FSR 2 and FSR 3 is going to have to be implemented from a developer standpoint. So we're kind of relying on developers adding it. But if they do, the, the, the performance boost that we might see on the Steam Deck on a lot of games would be crazy. So if anything, I would lobby. If you're a Steam Deck player and you wanna, let's say a, there's a game like Elden Ring, you wanna see better performance on with the Steam Deck specifically, um, lobby them to include FSR 2 or now FSR 3, because like I says, it upscales your games and gives you the performance of a lower resolution 
with higher higher resolution basically converts a 720p image to something that looks very equivalent to maybe 1080p or 1440p if you're lucky um and still give you that pretty good performance right um so yeah i'm really excited about this um i really want developers to really get on board with this and i think with the steam deck getting more successful by the day and portable handheld gaming becoming more successful by the day i think fsr is going to become a bigger part of games in general um obviously the D obviously dlss um it's already pretty widely available in a lot of games because it's an it's basically nvidia's equivalent but the thing about dlss is that you need a hardware component to basically use that um the, the you know there's like a part of the nvidia graphics card that basically handles the dlss upscaling whereas fsr i believe is software um it's basically done by via software um so you don't really need any extra special hardware to run it it just it just runs on your existing AMD hardware um, and I'd imagine as you know with the Steam Deck being RDNA 2 um, I believe they, they probably have some part of the chip that that handles FSR or at least improves it over you know let's say you had an older AMD graphics card but this is fascinating dude um, Tom says the deck is just the, the the deck is just using the first release of FSR 1, which is a basic spatial upscaler, hence why it works everywhere. FSR 2 and 3, DLSS and XESS all require motion vector data from the game to work, making it impossible to implement on a universal level. Um, so yeah, developers, as we said, need to implement it. So I'm really excited for this because it means we might get better performance in a lot of games, specifically, specifically Elden Ring. No, I'm just kidding. But like, I'm really excited about this. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you know much about FSR? Do you use it on maybe your desktop rig? Let me know down below. Um, I'm just excited to see what FSR 2 and 3 is like. I mean, I know what FSR 1 is like, and it really helped improve the, the quality of Elden Ring on my Steam Deck. Um, but I'd love to see what FSR lets us do. Does it mean that 60 FPS in every game is finally reachable on the Steam Deck? I would love that. Imagine playing God of War at 60 FPS on your Steam Deck at like native resolution, or at least upscale to native res resolution. That would be bonkers, and it would be kind of amazing too. Anyways, guys, have a great day. I love you, and I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for taking the time. Please like, subscribe, click the bell icon down below for more Steam Deck content. We cover news. We do a little bit of rambling, talking about what ifs and you know what ifs and whens and um talk about tech and gaming in general so please come join us come join the channel by clicking subscribe and click the bell icon and come follow me over on twitter as well because i'm going to be doing some giveaways on twitter twitter um and also also i'm going to say something yeah i'm going to be sharing my favorite steam deck accessories over there too so link in the description i'll see you later guys see you in the next video have a great day goodbye it's place 2k